So the, the topic I want to talk about today is concept of being alone. So we are so used to not being alone because we're scared to be alone because we don't like ourselves or we feel embarrassed by being by ourselves and it might look kind of weird to be alone but matter of fact when you start loving yourself or at least tolerate yourself you start to enjoy and do more things that you actually like because I'm a person uh, I'm a people pleaser and I like to do things that to make sure the other person is enjoying themselves fully and I put their concerns over mine, which is, I don't know why, it just makes me feel happy because I feel like when they're with me, I, they can enjoy themselves fully and that makes them happy to be with me, which is, sounds very manipulative, but I just like to, to person feel com as comfortable as possible because I know I've been in many relationship or situations where I felt very uncomfortable and the person looked like did not care that much. So I don't want to be this kind of person that doesn't think about for other people. So just hanging out by yourself. I realized a lot of things that I do by myself makes me very happy and I started to definitely see more like I take more time with myself like most of, the, most of the time when I go for a walk like a lot of people don't really enjoy walking as much I, as I do and sometimes like I see from the distance like oh that's a very interesting building or like a tree I don't give a fuck <laughs> it could be a tree <laughs> I'm intrigued by a tree and I'll go there and actually take a look because that piqued my interest but the other person might not see it as a very interesting thing and it will be like a waste of energy for them to walk all the way there but for me because my interest it's like being a little kid you're interest you're interested about anything in the world and i still see that a lot with nature with architecture and i just like to explore new places that i never visit so i'm a very curious guy when i go around the town and find something new that i never experienced or like never explored i mean so it gives definitely gives you more time with yourself and you start to do more enjoyable things that you enjoy instead of other people's concerns and all that stuff. And you're stress-free. Like you don't have to worry about other people's thoughts of like, oh, would they like that? Are they lying? They don't want to do this or they just don't care. And when you're by yourself, you don't give a fuck. You don't care about anyone and you're just doing your own thing that you actually enjoy. So I actually spoke to my friend and he was also saying how he was usually very social and I mean, he's still social, but he now enjoys time with himself. Like he doesn't need anyone else's company to enjoy a beautiful day of walking in the city or in town or just doing some activity that the, you would usually do with other people. But you're like, fuck it. Like, I don't need anyone else. I got myself and you are the best company for yourself because you're going to live with yourself the rest of your life and nobody's going to stick with you until the end except yourself obviously like your partner stays there but not 24 7 the only person that stays with you is you therefore that makes sense to start loving yourself start taking care of yourself and do things that you have to do because you become very resentful for the things that you know you're supposed to do and the only person that knows that is you, because that's you. <laughs> the only true person that knows you the best is yourself. You know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you know your beliefs, you know what you like, what you don't like, and what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Like I become, I start to enjoy myself and being like loving with myself is because I start to do things that I'm supposed to do. I know that kind of sounds really weird there, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> this is my fucking YouTube video. I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> so yeah, I just realized like a lot of us are always seeking for 
validation from other people and I think I was making a video for it, but it was too long. So I was like, I'm not going to post it because I got bored of it. But here I realized like I started to enjoy more speaking by myself like that more casually when I don't have to overwrite the script and it feels more natural. It feels like an actual advice for people to take it. And also like for me, if I need a, like inspiration so I can take a look at myself and whatever I'm just talking about and maybe help me at the very low point in my life. So it's, yeah, I, I lost that. <laughs> I lost track of what I was saying. So yeah, now remember <laughs> being by yourself. Like I started to enjoy myself more because I moved to Chicago, uh, Illinois, um, living with my mom currently and I just got a job here so currently I don't have time for any activities I'm just working right now barely have energy for anything else for even like barely energy for myself like I'm just trying to do all the acti activities and habits and goals that I have to still feel like I'm living because I'm working from nine to five and I get so tired at the end because it'll take me like, I don't know, half an hour to drive here. And then I have some errands to do and it takes another like 20 minutes, half an hour. It's already like six o'clock, 6 p.m. I eat, shower, it takes another half an hour to an hour. Maybe I should eat faster. I think I'm fucking up at that moment. <laughs> at, that, uh, at that moment. So maybe that's my my working point that I have to focus on. But either way, I just start to enjoy my own presence. I doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing what I want to do. I want to improve in many areas in my life, including of including speaking to people, to the camera, just being comfortable with the language itself, expressing myself and formulating my thoughts. I feel like if you watch from my first video, there's a huge improvement because I've been rewatching all my old content and seeing the progress and I'm pretty proud of myself. I stopped using too much filler words and I feel I have a clear mind of what I want to say. And I, I don't care that much because I'm... Another thing is like I learned yesterday or two days ago is just when you're tired, you don't give a fuck. So currently I'm like out of it i'm trying to do my daily goal because me and my friend uh promised that we're gonna keep it each other accountable so i'm just doing this because i want to but also it's like a goal that i made for myself and like uh i'm just trying to fulfill what i promised myself to do so again do what you want to do and what you're supposed to do because you're gonna start loving yourself you become you start to trust yourself and you start to feel amazing instead of being resentful and hateful and all the all the bad things. Like you you know what you have to do because you're always avoiding that specific activity. And because of it, like you're like procrastinating, but it makes you like you think it makes you feel good because you're doing something else, but in the back of your head you you cannot relax properly because you always know that you have to go back to this fucking activity and you're going to be stressing and all that shit. So that makes you start to hate your past self because you didn't take care of your future self. So start thinking about your future self as like a person that you're trying to take care of. It's your best friend that's going to thank you and appreciate you and even going to give you even more back when you go, when you be in the future. So Take care of yourself. It's, I know it's hard for certain people because it's not they're not used to it, but it's like a snowball effect where you it's, it starts very small, but then like you start rolling and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you feel amazing. You feel proud of yourself. You feel like you can conquer the world, and I feel like it's a shame that a lot of people are trying to avoid that by procrastinating indulging in their addictions that gives you that dopamine high at that moment but then it makes you more miserable at the end it's like it's counterproductive of what you're trying to do where you can just be when you're supposed to you can be and 
do what you're supposed to do and you feel amazing naturally. Like right now I'm on my, I feel like detox, I guess, I don't know. Like I still have a lot of dopamine that I know I do. Like I do a lot of social media and video games. That's a lot of dopamine already, but it's much more, it's fewer things that I ever done throughout my life. I like, I stopped, like I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking. Mm, what else did I stop doing? It was something else, but I forgot. I guess, um, no. Uh, I'm still tr struggling with porn, but I'm getting there. It's like one of those few things that, it, um, like feels like a like actual high for me but yeah like i don't smoke weed nicotine drink i don't drink so i'm pretty proud of myself with that and yeah i just don't indulge in that also yeah i just not trying to be too harsh with yourself that's the important key like you just try to be better one percent from yesterday that's your goal for for today every day and if you still if you start feeling progress slowly but surely then you're doing the right thing so yeah just practice being yourself i mean being practicing be yourself by yourself do things more that you enjoy stop caring what other people think and you're gonna start loving yourself more and you're gonna attract people that are the same people as you are I feel like that's why when you when you fake it like who you are you get bad friends when you're authentic and like you, you being yourself you get your attract the same people that you are so it's your choice thank you and have a good night peace